Hello and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name's Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. What do we have this time? How about a single malt Scotch whiskey for a change? It is the Brookladdy Laddie Classic uh, Scottish Barley, no age statement, from uh, the Brookladdy Distillery on Islet. Uh, I've done one other Brookladdy review on the channel so far. Uh, that was the Beer Barley Brookladdy. Um, I've been, I bought my first bottle of Brookladdy quite a few years ago, and I think it was probably a bottle of the Laddie Classic, or it was certainly a no age, well, it was either the Laddie Classic no age statement, or back in the day, they had a, a 10 and an, or an 8 year age statement, so it could have carried a 10 or an 8 year old age statement, I can't remember. I've had uh, a bottle of the Brookladdy Rocks, which was a limited edition, or if it's not limited edition, it's a, a line that they've stopped bottling now. Uh, and I've had various others that I've tried, but this is the, only the second one that I've reviewed on the channel. Uh, it sells in Canada, the full-size bottle, for about $65 plus tax. Um, in BC, they also sell uh, the 10-year-old for $85 plus tax. Um, so, Brock Laddie, it was um, independently owned until fairly recently, and then it was taken over by Perno Recar. Uh, excuse me. Which um, people weren't thrilled about, I have to say, because they're known for being quite renegade. Uh, this is bottled at 50% alcohol. Um, and it's, um, it's non-chill filtered and natural colour, like all, or uh, yeah, probably all of the Brooklyn range. So this is the most basic bottling in the Brooklyn range. Um, I always enjoyed Brooklyn Laddy. Um, unpeated, uh, this line, so they do unpeated, which is the Laddy stuff. They do the Port Charlotte, which is uh, heavily peated and then they do ultra heavily peated stuff which is called Optimal. Um, I've yet to try an Optimal but that will probably happen in the next couple of days. So let's see what we have. Okay there is a big whiff of grainy alcohol that's part of the Brooklady style. They do have a grainy maltiness to them but I also pick up juniper and um, green banana. There's a grainy maltiness that's slightly buttery um, and a real sea salt tanginess to it as well. And you can tell that this is matured, I believe, entirely in ex-bourbon barrels because there is a minty note to it, like the uh, red, white and blue toothpaste. Just going to add a bit of water and see what that does for it. And I can see immediately the oils starting to separate out. All of a sudden, there's a lot more toffee, but it's a cold block of toffee rather than a cloying toffee sauce type um, note. Yeah, the, the grainy alcohol note has um, subsided and it's much more of a buttery maltiness. And it's unmistakably a Brockladdy. Brockladdy has a particular style, those who know it very well. Hint of gin, hint of the, uh, the um, botanicals in gin. Really rather pleasant, but, <clears throat> excuse me, because of its unusual style, and because of the high alcohol content, it really doesn't reward being just gloved into a glass and shot 
uh, down any more than you'd want to shoot it out of a cannon. Um, it really does reward a long time spent with the uh, with the whiskey. Lots of green and verdant notes starting to come through. Real buttering maltiness, salty at the back, kind of like buttered popcorn, salted butter, mm. barley sugar, and eucalyptus. A bit more grainy as coming through now. Difficult to describe. The finish. Slightly off in the finish because it sort of peaks with a hint of bitterness that falls away very, very quickly and leaves saltiness. So all in all, I mean, I've really enjoyed becoming reacquainted with this uh, Brook Laddie. Um, very particular style. Nice to have a bottle on the shelf. $65 for this. I mean, really, you can't go wrong with it. Um, I can see why Brook Laddie has its fans. I'm one of them. Um, but yeah, I, I think that there'll always be room on the shelf for a full-size bottle of unpeated brocolati. Um It's just a nice thing. It's just... Oh, God. Excuse me. I'm <laughs> breaking everything. It's just a brocolati. It's just of its, uh, of its kind. Um, so I'm enjoying becoming reacquainted with it. It's recommended by me. I'm going to try some of the other unpeated and peated broccoladies in the future, so stay tuned for that. What will we have next time we meet? Hmm. Could be a another broccolati, either peated or unpeated. It could be a spring bank, or it could be a budget bourbon. I will decide because I'm managing the herb very, very carefully nowadays. Anybody? Any, sorry. Anyway, cheers, everybody. We'll we'll speak again soon. Bye bye.